Thank you for your interest in the Foreshore Integrated Management and Planning Atlas for Lakes in British Columbia. Foreshore Inventory uses a variety of methods to identify and map environmental values of importance on lake shorelines and provide land use planning guidelines to reduce impacts. A lake foreshore is significant ecologically because it is the transitional ecological community between aquatic and terrestrial habitats. It provides a high diversity of habitat for fish and wildlife and there are many beneficial ecological functions. Shoreline habitats include aquatic vegetation, deep and shallow lake edges, stream mouths, wetlands, and riparian vegetation. This is a short tutorial to help you navigate your way around the atlas and use some of the basic mapping tools and information that is available. When you first open the atlas, you'll see several lakes highlighted in the Kootenays in British Columbia. These are the lakes that have been mapped using the foreshore inventory and mapping methods. There are two main parts of the atlas, the menu bar and the map legend. Let's start with the menu bar. This is the pan tool. You can click on the map and pan it wherever you'd like. The magnifying glass, there's the zoom tool. You can also zoom in and out with the zoom tools here. The select tool. Click on a feature and the attributes will show up in the selection detail panel. You can also measure a line, measure area, and select within features. You can clear the selection and measure a selected area. You can either save an image of the map or you can print the map. The last tool in the menu bar is the video list. Here you can select a video, for example, short uh, slow can lake, and click the view button, and it will zoom in to an area on slow can lake and begin playing a video for the shore. If you zoom into slow can lake, you can see the video tracking along the shoreline, matching the video. Let's zoom in a little further. The second main part of the atlas that I will demonstrate is the map legend. You can easily turn layers on and off by opening up the categories. Let's open up uh, Windermere Lake and change the base map. And you'll see the different layers of the map that are available in Windermere Lake for 2020. You can turn different layers on and off. And there are many layers in the legend available if you scroll down. You can also search for a particular layer using the find a layer search tab here. If you'd like to create more, a more larger window for the map, click the little button on the top left here and it will expand the map window further and you can open it and close it and open and close the legend. Let's try searching for 
a riparian layer. All the map layers that have the word riparian will show up in the legend. And you can turn off the selection by clicking the, the X beside the Find a Layer menu. If you'd like to modify the symbology of a selected layer, you can click this tool, this button, and it will allow you to modify the display of style of the particular layer. Highlight the layer by selecting it and click the button. Let's change the color of the riparian areas. To view the attributes behind some of the map layers, use the Select tool and click on the feature of interest and any attributes associated with the feature will show up in the map selection detail window. Next, if you'd like to change the base map behind the map layers, then click on this tool, this button, and you can turn on Google Hybrid, Satellite, and other map layers. If you'd like to zoom to the extent of a particular map layer, first highlight the layer and click on this button and it will zoom to the extent. Feel free to check out all of the map layers that are available in the legend and more will be coming online throughout the year. Thank you for attending this tutorial.